Triple Dog Dare. What's that? For Ron to, <laughs> for Ron to sing the intro. Oh, go ahead, Ron. Yeah, but uh, I just I just got a rap from the producer, so we got to get right to. <laughs> oh, okay, oh, sounds hard. good. Sounds right. good. <laughs> All right, so this is my very delicious barbecue chicken. I love this, and um, I'm starting off with some onions and garlic, and I'm just chopping up, mincing up the garlic. I'll chop up the onions here. But I was sitting on my grandmother's porch up in Preston many years ago, and um, is actually is when she was still alive. And then um, I, this wafting aroma that was so amazing, delicious of barbecue came through the air from my neighbor. Uh, Jody Crockett up there. Hi, Jody. Of course, grew up with her parents and their house and everything. And um, I, being me, just walked over there because I wanted to know what it was. And so I walked over there and was introduced to this most amazing barbecue sauce and chicken. And I have to share it with you. So this is my rendition of it. It's very, very simple. Started off, like I said, with mincing up some garlic. I'm going to chop up some onions here to go into it. I have some sugar and water that started to boil here, as well as I'm going to add some corn syrup too. So I'm going to create a caramel base, essentially. And so that's what I'm going to do here. Now, I just bought and I'm going to use a just a store-bought prepared barbecue sauce as the flavoring on it. So we're not making the actual barbecue sauce. We're actually going to enhance it to be that much better. So I'm going to let this come up to a boil for about, oh, two to three minutes, of which then I'm going to add in this garlic and the onion and let it absolutely just, just steep in that caramel that we're going to start making. And it is so delicious. I can't wait. But my big secret with my chicken is I always worry about underdone chicken because, you know, raw chicken isn't a good thing. So what I do is I actually cook the chicken in the oven till it's fully cooked, 165 degrees internally. I'll do this day before a barbecue and just put it in the refrigerator then until the barbecue. And then what you're going to do is mark it on the grill, you guys. So this is the key. And when we come back, I'll finish this up. I'll explain more what I mean by marking on the grill and our barbecue sauce will be ready to go. Mm, can't cheating. wait. Ooh. No, smart. Cooking <laughs> smart. I agree. Yeah, that really does look great. Thanks a lot.